there. It's Mary from Stamping, Mary.stampingup.net. Thank you for joining me today. Today is another card made, make, made using the gorgeously made stamp set and coordinating dies. This is a square card, so I don't often make these ones, but I think this particular stamp set and dies is just such a pretty set, and these square cards I think are just something for a really special occasion. So um, the I've just used one of the dies in here, this larger one right here. And I've, I've made this card using thick basic white, grey granite and um, the bubble bath cardstock and some vellum. So really only three colours. I really wanted to show, show off that bubble bath as well. And I think it contrasts nicely with the grey granite cardstock. So let's go ahead and get it made. So I'm going to bring in my cardstock. So I've gone ahead already and embossed this top piece here in this thick basic white using the um, uh, embossed tile, uh, sorry, the embossed or distressed tile or embossed tile. I'll just double check what that one's called. I'll put it, just put it in the description bar below. But it's one of my most favourite, um, one of my most favourites embossing folders at the moment. And then we've got our basic thick basic white and then two pieces of grey granite one for the top layering and then one for the inside layering as well I haven't done any stamping on the inside but I just like to carry through the um, edging there so before we get started I'm just going to do a little bit of splattering with the grey granite um, stamp and white marker just to give a little bit more just so it's not quite so white on white so just a little bit, you put down as much as you kind of feel um, is warranted. <laughs> it's one of those things. Sometimes you can just get carried away with the splattering, or well, I can anyway. Here we go. So that's that one done. Now I've gone ahead already and die cut this big piece twice. Oops, there it is. Um, I cut one in vellum and one in bubble bath, and I'm just going to put it together just with a little bit of um, Tombow. Just attach them now. You won't see the Tombow. Um, a little bit there. Just a little bit off centre, just to hold the two together. Go. And then just pop that on there. Oops. There you go. Just pop that to one side just to while it dries. Now the sentiment, you're a great friend. There's also a die in here which cuts that fabulous shape. I have gone ahead already just to save time and pre-stamped in um, Versamark and then heat embossed with white embossing powder uh, for that one. And it's a very easy card to put together actually. Um, the trickiest bit really is <laughs> making the making this faux ribbon, making it uh, getting it centered correctly. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? That a ribbon is the hardest bit to do. So all I did was fold. I didn't make a. I have made a, a faux bow, bow. So I've just made that figure eight, and then just going to put a piece of some stamp, um, stamp and seal, just in here, straight down, because the ribbon's going to go down first. Go. I'm just going to put that in the middle there, and then I'm just going to put another little bit of stamp and seal down. If it'll let me, just to hold it in place should be okay and then we're going to pop this one on with some more um, Tombow so not too much Tombow I always say when I'm using Tombow less is more just want enough obviously to hold it in place and then I'm just going to place right, very carefully Place my die cut image on an angle about there. Not too close to the top, not too close to the bottom. <laughs> I think I might have the ribbon up a little bit too high. Let me just see if I can move it down ever so slightly. Should make should get me lifted off. Yeah. That's better. 
better. It's just a little bit high. Yep, that's good. Pop that back on. Alright, so it's just going to take a couple of minutes. Once we put the sentiment over it, we'll actually hold it on in place a little bit more. So dimensionals on the back of your sentiment. Yeah, I'm just going to come in here. Oops. Pop that on there. So if all else fails, that'll, that'll hold your image in place anyway. Your die cut image. Whoops. Okay, that's pretty, right? Let's trim that while I see it. There we go. And I'm going to put a little bit of... Um, Baker's, uh, sorry, linen thread, just to make another little bow. Because I really like, I like linen thread. <laughs> I really like linen thread. Just going to grab a glue dot. The glue dot on there. And the bow. The bow is just going to go there. I want it on another angle. going to put some um, sequins on here these are the um, pastel pastel adhesive um, sequins but let's just put the card together now so I cut um, I cut my um, whisper white and grey granite with a very very small um, margin so you're just seeing a peak of colour really which is how I like it. Very narrow matte is the correct term, I think. Go, that's for the inside. Let's do the outside. Um, it would actually actually look quite pretty with the bubble bath um, if you just wanted to keep sort of a couple of colours going. I love that bubble bath. Um, yeah, the bubble bath would look nice as a matte as well. Yeah, I just think of these eight, these square cut cards as sort of a, they're a great card if you've got, if you're maybe giving it and you want um, more than, you know, a few people to sign the card, maybe as a birthday card or a, um, someone's leave, a leaving card or something like that. It gives you plenty of room uh, for signing on the inside if you want to write their, um, their messages. And then of course you can just um, make an envelope to fit using designer series paper if you want to or plain white cardstock which is probably what I'll do at some point and then this is going to go on with dimensionals it's just another way to use that really pretty um, the really pretty dies in this die set I've put a link um, to the gorgeously made suite or set, I should say. There's actually some beautiful designer series paper that goes, coordinates beautifully with this set. Um, really, really pretty paper. Quite bold. Um, if you have a look through the catalogue and the Snapping Up catalogue, you'll, you'll um, at this suite, you'll see the paper. It's so pretty. But yeah, I've put a link to this product anyway. Um, and it's a bundle, so you buy the stamp set and the dies. You're saving some money when you're buying it all at the same time. Just place that on the middle and on top there. Oops. Oh, come on. There we go. Perfect. There we are. And there you have it. Oh, not quite. I missed... Pieces. 
use the pastel adhesive sequins and obviously I'm going with the bubble bath for this one could use the gold if you wanted to that one's come off already some of the smaller ones okay. I've uh, used these quite a lot as you can probably see <laughs> they are one of my favorites I do like the pastel colours. And there you have it. It's not really that difficult to make, but a really pretty, very dainty card using the gorgeously made stamp set and dies. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me, stampymary at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Bye.